this is going to be a very easy video for myself to mail in. I downloaded from Greg Hausch's website on YouTube. He posted the full footage from Rob Weber getting arrested. Weber's body cam goes dark. So I'm only showing the part where he was restrained by the art gallery employee. I'm going to flip the video. He was on the ground. It was at a bad angle. An easy angle, however, to flip into upright. I'm not sure why Hausch didn't do that. You're assaulting me, sir. You're assaulting me. I do not trust Greg Hausch. He was recently on Slow News Day. These people are the ecosystem. The ecosystem is everything. It's beyond the beyond of Jimmy Dore. You are assaulting me. I want folks to pay particular attention to how Rob Weber can't sing in tune. He's not a musician, even though he's listed as a musician. He's not really a filmmaker. He's an agent provocateur. He's trying to get the guy to snap the employee in the art gallery. I also want to point out Rob Weber smearing Julian Assange. He did it like a double-faced agent provocateur COINTELPRO rat snitch. He went blah blah blah, Assange, he's sleazy, he's this and that, bad stuff, but Rod wants him freed. I think Rod was overcompensating because just days ago, days or a week ago, I went to his channel, I left him a comment, and I just talked to him. Mano a mano? No, not mano a mano. A man a man? And I just said, look, dude, uh, I know you can't really say anything because of public disclosure agreements. And then he responded, what, you think I'm a, you think that? He acted fake surprised that anyone would think it. He knows all about me. His friends smeared me back in the day of that Camberlin stuff. He's associated to the people who are at the now defunct Boston Phoenix, which smeared me. There's that guy Chris Farrell. And there's the Mike McCann guy. That's not even his real name. If you check out McCann, there's one video. You can see his face is all tweaking out. Look at Rob Weber. His tongue keeps jutting out. I'll, uh, Graham Elwood and Jimmy Dore. That's tardy dyskinesia. His tongue's jutting out from all the, probably, alcohol, all the drug use. So that's about it. Um, if you want to see the whole video, what's available, go to Greg Hausch's channel. I flipped these over. The, this isn't the way it really came out. Sort of like how on a video or two back I flipped Glory Jones because she's always putting in the mirror image of herself to distort her face, to make it much more difficult to see what's going on with her face and her jaw and probably even what's reflecting in her glasses which are apparently sorry couldn't get glasses out I munched it up yeah I was watching Fiorella she couldn't say much she said munch I wanted to put in a screenshot of munch from that TV show but then I imagined not everyone will know who Munch is.
So yes, I probably have personally driven Rod Weber over the edge into freaking out. I've exposed the entirety of the internet. I cracked the code. I get humble numbers on my channel, but for those of you who have found this channel, the Tokyo Shemp channel, you know that I cracked the code. You know that it's fairly incredible what I came up with. You know I put it got into their heads. You know I use whatever tools in the toolbox. Well, I get they'd be in the toolbox, so that was superfluous to mention that. But you know that I'm able to reverse the psychology. I'll make them think I'm in a savant, an autistic savant, which I probably am. Or instead of just quitting with the singing, I kept going, going to show that, oh wow, I really can sing. I really do hit the notes. But if you look at, if you listen, sorry, not look, I like to say look. Look there, look at him. That's like one of my, when I first got overexcited as a YouTuber, or maybe at the BC video place. No, I think it was at YouTube with the Jacob Peterson. Uh, I just kept going, look at him, look at him. But uh, I'm going off topic. Oh, I stopped myself from going, um. So it went a little bit like, uh, but I stopped it and moved on into words. So that's that. That's the way it is. That's the way it was. This is the Tokyo Shemp News Network. Oh, I think I came up with a new way to say that. I want to go, um, this is the Tokyo Shemp Network. Kind of like that. And sort of the opposite of, this is the Tokyo Shemp Network. So I might try to do that opposite of that. <clears throat> Did I say that too many times? This is... Thanks for tuning. See, I started to say something, then I stopped. Now, if I wasn't lazy today, I would edit that out. I am getting <clears throat> more and more confident to just let it roll, to not edit so much. When I was talking fast on, I think, the music video, or I forget what, which one, maybe another one. Oh, the, uh, the one on Ben Dixon, I think I was talking very fast. And I'm just talking very fast right now. I can talk fast. I can do it. Sometimes, though, it's not so bad to be able to measure one's words. See, I'm not a fake. I studied sociology. So you're getting, with my channel, you're getting a free Generation X style meaning of life, sociology, social psychology, while these other people keep throwing that other crap in our minds, which so, so just happens to correlate with what the media pushes. So it shouldn't be a surprise when the, all those backwater fake independent shows go like, oh, let's take a look at this CNN clip, or let's take a look at this. And they're always plugging Rise and Shine Media Mythology. I do something called Reverse COINTELPRO. I'm an American. We have the right to freedom of speech and theory. And that's what I did. That's what I do. Rob Weber is obviously COINTELPRO. It's fairly funny. But the thing about that is, like I said earlier in this audio, they all are. I'm hearing some outside noise, so I'll just leave it at that. Thanks again. Take care. Truly.